the other part of the story I, I will uh, talk about is the six months experience um, <clears throat> for narcolepsy uh, patients and patients with obstructive uh, sleep apnea who have participated in prior studies, either phase three or phase two studies, uh, in the efficacy on um, a sleepiness scale and also sleep latency in the maintenance of a wakefulness test. The interesting part about it, and this is the focus of the study, that right in the middle of the six-month study, there was a randomized <coughs> controlled withdrawal of the medication without knowing, of course, of, for the patient that he had been withdrawn. And what can be seen is uh, patients who were under placebo increased their adverse uh, uh, scale and uh, had a higher uh, score in the upper sleepiness scale, whereas the patients uh, uh, treated with sorry amphetol did not uh, very much increase the upper sleepiness scale and sleep latency on uh, maintenance of wakefulness test did not increase under sorry amphetol and increased a little bit under placebo. And then the there was a simultaneously CGI and CGP, if so patient uh, clinical global impression and uh, um, doctor's clinical global impression, and they did not change throughout the six months experience. So actually, the conclusion is there was no withdrawal from this weight promoting agent, I think, which is a very important thing. Um, and from uh, in terms of safety, there was no different profile from the short-term studies. So, uh, same side effects, anxiety, nausea, uh, uh, irritation, um, but uh, no severe um, treatment emergent uh, adverse events. The surprising outcome is that uh, well, I think it does a great reduction, and the number of patients who are responders is extremely high. So it means it seems to be a very efficacious medication. It means we have um, additional wake promoting agent, which has a good safety, which has long term data provided, which does not impact on your nighttime sleep and uh, which does not have any withdrawal effects, which is very, very important to the patient. Of course, there will be safety issues concerning, and uh, so uh, future surveys have to be done for several years, as it's always recommended by the EMEA uh, to look at uh, data collected throughout, let's say, five years or so. Uh, to see if the safety profile stays as it is right now. Um, and maybe uh, to look at it from the basic mechanisms into other fields of uh, excessive data and sleepiness, like in other neurological diseases. And maybe even to look at it from the effect of uh, the dopaminergic reuptake inhibition in terms of using it maybe for neurodegenerative dis disorders.